Hey everyone, I'm David, this is Logan, and we are This Is Wild. So we reached out to people within the community and asked them to give us submissions about what their life is like now that this pandemic has hit the whole world. And we wanna make this a resource for people within the community and people who hope to learn about the situations everyone's finding themselves in now. Yeah, we're hoping that this can be uh, some good information for you all. So let's get right to it and hear from them. Hey all, I'm Juby. Hey, I'm Justin. And this is Azalea. And together, we're Justin and Juby on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> um, and... Well, I've got some questions, yeah? Okay, good. Cool, all right, I'll read them all. All right, here we go. <laughs> Sorry guys, we couldn't remember the questions. Um, where are you located? North yeah. Carolina. Yeah. <laughs> we're... Yeah. We're just outside of Chapel Hill in North Carolina. Yeah set up on a community farm out kind of in the boonies um how has the ooh, how has the you know come okay all right come on help me read how has the global pandemic affected your living situation hmm. so for us it we had these grand plans of popping around and traveling around here in north carolina um for the next couple months and then hitting the road west well with everything that's going on we are currently stationed in North Carolina for the unforeseeable future until this clears up, which is totally okay. Um, we're happy to be in North Carolina. It's good to be back. And so that's where we're located now. Um, what is your go-to isolation quarantine meal? Um, I don't really know that we have like one meal per se that's our go-to meal, but we definitely have a, a heavy rotation of like a Mexican bean dish, whether it be with grits or rice or some cheese. type of taco shell, an egg and cheese sandwich, like breakfast sandwich with like mushrooms and egg and cheese. Yogurt and granola. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oatmeal. I do overnight oats a bunch. That's a really good staple. Um, we do pancakes. We just did a mean falafel burger. We do falafel burger. Which is really, really good. Um, and pasta. All right, here's another one. What are you now doing differently in day-to-day -day life? Um, oh my goodness, oh. come here. Okay, Zay. Oh, come on, love. All right, what are you doing differently? Well, being bored. Pretty yeah. much. <laughs> We're bored probably more than it's, not. It's so hard because we usually go to the library, uh, we go to the playground, we go yeah, swimming. Yeah, play days, I mean, outdoor we're... adventures, like yeah. in town, all that kind of stuff. We're doing all these outdoor adventures still, but there's a lot of things that we just normally do, like out and about. Yeah, yeah. We, we're not getting social, which is tough, but we get it. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. Um, okay, all right, next one. How's it affected your job or biz? Um, well, at first, I think for my business, which is just an online boutique, which is called Moonflower Child, um, I was concerned that it was going to take a hit. Um, and it did initially, but I think things have sort of picked back up to be somewhat a normal pace. The only thing that has been affected is just the experience of going to the post office. Since I do have to still ship product, I go to the post office only on Monday, Wednesday, Fridays and um, try and stay out of people's way when I go into town. Uh, for me, fortunately, beekeeping is pretty much already a socially distant type of thing anyway. So um, I've still got access to drive around and go and check on the bee hives and make sure that the bees are good and healthy. So that's been nice. And so far, our business is okay. Yeah, looking pretty good. We're still really grateful for all the support. Other than that, the last thing I would say is always look at the cup half full. <laughs> and with that, we have to go and tend Azalea. <laughs> <laughs> hope Peace. you guys enjoy uh, social safe, isolation stay healthy and eat good food don't get bored bye <laughs> hey everyone i'm will from australia and i'm margo from france we are currently traveling in our van coco in manitoba canada the first question was how the global pandemic affected our living situation we were living in calgary with the plan to head east through canada and then south into the u.s and mexico from mid-April, but um, we lost our jobs in Calgary, so that's changed our plans. Um, we've hopped into the into the uh, van a bit earlier now. We are unsure about the border, provincial border closures happening in Canada, so we've come to Manitoba with the plan to find a secluded spot. The next question was, what is our go-to quarantine meals? We have loaded up on pasta, rice, potatoes and beans, and we're just going to eat them repeatedly with any vegetables that we have. 
The next question was, what are we now doing differently in our day-to-day -day lives? Well, we're staying out of cities and we're social distancing, staying away from other people, trying to. We have organised ourselves a lot better in the van now, so we have a lot of supplies, food and water. So at the moment we are east of Winnipeg in Manitoba. We have been in touch with a family on Workaway where we are really hoping to um, go spend a couple of weeks, even months. Um, we are just waiting for them to go back to us about when we could come um, and eventually stay a couple of weeks and months and just make ourselves useful. Thanks everyone. Bye. Hi, my name is Kristen Holden and I typically live in a van full time with my two dogs, Bear and Kashi. Um, we are currently in Indianapolis, Indiana. I was traveling the East Coast, up the coast was my plan for this entire spring. And then kind of go inland and do more of the mountains. But after I kind of started to see how serious it was. At first I was like, I'm in a quarantine in the mountains. And then it was supposed to be raining for the next two weeks in the mountains, which honestly was probably a sign. I just decided to book at home. So luckily I'm at my parents' house. Um, they have plenty of room for me. So that's been good. Uh, it, it, I mean, other than being able to travel, I'm pretty blessed that it hasn't affected my living situation too much. Um, I, I know that I'm like blessed beyond measure that if anything, this is more of like an annoyance to me than like an actual problem. Um, and I realize that there's so much privilege in that and I'm really lucky. Um, I already work remote. So if anything, I've been able to help my team out, um, cause they're used to being in the office. So I've been able to kind of give them tips on working remote, although I'm used to kind of being in coffee shops or libraries. So being in my parents' house while they're listening to the news all day long, that's kind of been um, a little bit of a balance getting used to that shift and how I'm working, but it hasn't been too bad. Um, my go-to meal during this time, I'm obsessed with like uh, Thai food. So I've been making a lot of like uh, Penang curries or Pad Thai or anything curry, anything with rice or rice noodles. <laughs> I love it. Um, pretty much my day to day now is like, wake up work and then find something to do. I only work part time. So it's only 29 hours a week. So it's kind of been um, a little bit of a shift, like filling in the rest of the void of time. Um, but yeah, we're getting by. I think the dogs are more so bored than anything. Uh, but we'll get through this. And um, we're excited to hit the road again once we hit the road. Hopefully my van sells and I'll be doing a new build later on this year. And we plan to go to um, like Glacier and Banff, Lord willing. So we'll see. Um, to everyone else out there, I hope you're staying safe. Um, be blessed. Stay healthy. Bye. Hello there, I'm Jamie. And I'm Lisa. You can find us on Instagram at a.van.degroot. Hope everybody's doing okay out there. We still have our home base and we are part-time van lifers and weekend warriors and we do understand the challenges and difficulties that everybody's going through right now. So as a community, uh, we want everybody to know that we are here for you. We have a driveway a safe haven for you to park until everything settles. Uh, we'd like you to reach out to us if you are in need of help. Like I said, we have a driveway, we have water, we have shore power if you need it. Uh, message us, we'll let you know where we are and we'd love to have you come and park on our driveway until uh, everything kind of settles. We are in the GTA Toronto area, so please do reach out to us if you are in need. Also, if you, you know, you need somebody to talk to, I'm there. I'm on uh, social media quite a bit, just uh, checking in on everybody and uh, making sure everybody's safe. So keep well and uh, hope we can all ride this out through um, together as a van life community. Take care. Bye now. 
Hey everyone, I'm Heather. And I'm Curtis. And we are The Travels of Heather and Curtis on YouTube and The Travels of Heather on Instagram. Uh, first, I just want to quickly thank Logan and David for uh, having us on, and this is wild, for putting this all together um, and just giving people a chance to share their unique experience. Mm -hmm. uh, we're full-time travelers. When we're not backpacking, we live in our self-converted Dodge Sprinter van. Uh, right now, we are currently in my mom's house serving our two-week mandatory quarantine. Uh, after that, we will be moving back into the van, into our home, and we will be going to my family's property uh, because there's enough land for us to have our little area. And we're some of the lucky ones that uh, still get to be in their van, which I'm thankful for. Yeah. Uh, this has affected us because we still would have been in Mexico, mostly living in Airbnbs, maybe a couple of hostels too. I think we had one booked yeah. uh, until the end of April. And then we were gonna get back in the van, start exploring, do a rebuild, and all of that is possibly up in the air right now. Yeah, everything in the future is just, who knows? Which isn't that different to every day in van life. <laughs> yeah. uh, our go-to quarantine meal, our go-to social distancing meal was tacos before when we were in Mexico trying to do that. But now it is anything with like rice and canned beans, sometimes rice and canned beans together sometimes separate. Uh, we had to get Curtis's mom to get a, like a shopping list for us. So we haven't actually gone out into the world yet since it all shut down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's different is uh, we pretty much still work the same. We still work online the same. Uh, we both work freelance online gigs. And while the work has kind of dried up a little bit, we're still honing our skills and working uh, but we just can't get out and explore nature and like recharge our creative batteries as much. Oh, well, that's for sure. And we, for us personally, we run a van life community that hosts a lot of meetups. So about like half of what we do isn't really a thing anymore because you can't get together and have meetups. So we still are working. And so the rhythm of the day hasn't changed that much, but we're now coming, having to come up with new ideas and new ways to move forward, mm -hmm. I think, which is very interesting. Yeah. Uh, we do have a lot of support and resources. Like we said, we still are running the Van Life Ontario group. Van Life Ontario, shout out on Facebook and Instagram. What? Um, <laughs> Logan's a valuable member. Yeah. But other people need to hear because there's a lot of like discussion and stuff still going on. Like the community hasn't gone away. We're just all stuck in our vans or in our houses and can't get together. But we can still talk to each other online and keep each other going and check in on each other and make uh, sure that we're all cool. Yes. So for anyone in or near Ontario needing a place to stay or if you have a question or if you have a place you can offer someone to stay at. Maybe you're still building out your van and you have a driveway. Um, you can get in touch with us. Or you can join the Facebook group at Van Life Ontario. And then um, hopefully we can help each other out and share resources and trade information. And also unlimited cute annual posts. So we want to thank every single person who submitted a video or took the time to answer our questions. For that, we know it's a difficult thing to put yourself out there and share your reality with the whole world. But at the end of the day, the van life community is such a strong community where we feel comfortable and everyone within the community, for the most part, feels comfortable sharing their realities because at the end of the day, we're all here for one of another, one another, and that's what we want to hit home with you guys. Yeah, we really appreciate you telling your story mm -hmm. and I'm sure other people will appreciate it too. Yeah. And we're going to make this a two-part series, so look forward to next week because we have some more stories to tell you. And make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you did enjoy what you watched and yeah. what you saw. And if anyone has any other resources that they want to share with the community, please comment below. Send us an email at contact at thisiswild.ca and we will get that out to everyone who wants to listen. See you next week. Bye guys.